Of the major molecular building blocks of the cells, carbohydrates are the most abundant on Earth. Technically, all the foods we eat contain carbohydrates. Although their abundance in the body is relatively low, carbohydrates constitute about 75% by mass of dry plant materials. Carbohydrates such as table sugar, lactose in milk, and cellulose are all made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Most simple carbohydrates' empirical formulas fit this general formula, CnH2NON. When this is rearranged and based on early observations by scientists, it can also be written this way. The reason why carbohydrates were called hydrates of carbon since they were also thought to be hydrates of carbon. In a series of reactions called photosynthesis, plants harness energy from the sun, which is then used to combine the carbon atoms from carbon dioxide and the hydrogen atoms of water into the carbohydrate glucose. Green plants produce carbohydrates through this process. In the body, glucose is oxidized in a series of metabolic reactions known as respiration, which releases chemical energy to do work in the cells. Carbon dioxide and water are produced and returned to the atmosphere. The combination of photosynthesis and respiration is called the carbon cycle, in which energy from the sun is stored in plants by photosynthesis and made available to us when the carbohydrates in our diets are metabolized. Functions of carbohydrates Carbohydrates have a wide range of functions, including providing a significant fraction of the dietary calories of most organisms and being a source of energy. Natural carbohydrate sources such as rice, grains, and cereals, breads, sugarcane, fruits, milk, and honey are an important source of energy for us. It also acts as a storage form of energy in the body. It supplies carbon atoms for the synthesis of other biochemical substances. It also serves as cell membrane components that mediate some forms of intercellular communication. It serves as a part of the structural framework of DNA and RNA, and serves as part of the structural component of many organisms, including the cell walls of bacteria, the exoskeleton of many insects, and the fibrous cellulose of plants. Carbohydrates are classified on the basis of their molecular size. The first classification, which we call monosaccharides, such as glucose and fructose for an instance, are the simplest carbohydrates because they contain a single or a monosugar mono or saccharide unit. Disaccharides, including sucrose and lactose, consist of two monosaccharide units joined by a glycosidic linkage. Oligosaccharides are those carbohydrates consisting of 3 to 10 monosaccharide units joined by a glycosidic linkage. And lastly, we have the polysaccharides, which are long, often highly branched chains of monosaccharides. Some common examples are glycogen, starch, and cellulose. 